What's going on guys, now that we're in After Effects, we're gonna be breaking down what we're gonna be learning today. This tutorial was requested by someone on Instagram. If you have a tutorial idea, you can follow me on Instagram, at cpross 7 I respond to every single DM that I get. If you wanna DM me on there and ask for a tutorial, I'll try to get around to it as quickly as I can. But anyways, let's get into the tutorial that we're gonna be learning today. We're working on this eye reflection right here, as you can see, and then there's a little luma transition that reveals through to the layer that was reflecting on the eyeball. So if you disable both the reflections and then preview the shot, you can see it's just a typical shot of Amir's eye. You can see actually in here in the reflection, there's me holding the camera. We're essentially gonna be replacing this with our own reflection and something we can transition to the next scene with. As with all my tutorials, if you wanna download the project file and play around with the footage, you can do so. There's a link in the description. I'm just gonna sl slide and delete to, you know, show them. Just starting off fresh here. You wanna start off by dragging the clip you have shot of someone's eye into a new composition. I'm gonna make a minor adjustment, go over to the effects and presets tab, type in curves. The shot is a little dim, so I'm just gonna brighten it up. Then you just wanna drag on your footage that you want to be the reflection. I've named the layer reflection in the footage. And I'm just gonna scale it up to be the size of the composition. So once you have your reflection dragged in, this effect is pretty simple to accomplish. All you wanna do is go up to this rectangle or whatever shape this is, click and hold down and then go to the ellipse tool and you want to click on one point and drag the circle approximately that your eye is and then if you hit V and you click out here you can select the whole mask and you want to move this around and also scale it out to be at the edge of your eye. Don't worry about it going on top of the eye here, we're gonna fix that later. Then if you hit M on your keyboard, that'll bring up the mask path properties. So all the keyframes we make are going to be saved. So I'm just gonna drag forward a few frames. I'm also gonna change the resolution to half just so it's a little bit easier to work with. It doesn't have to be perfect. Another thing you wanna do, hit F on your keyboard and then bring up the mask feather to like 25 and then hit M again, it'll bring you back to the mask path and then go over here. And every time it moves, just move it back, maybe every like four or five frames. The blink is gonna start occurring there. Just do your best to match where the eyeball would remain. And then as it opens back up, drag it back on. Um, do, 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 moves a little bit more to the right. So if you preview this, you can see the reflection looks like it's perfectly matching the eyeball. What we're gonna do next is fix the blinking issue because obviously when you blink, the reflection isn't still gonna be there. All you have to do is go up to the pen tool and then draw a mask around the eyelid right here. Just like that. And what you wanna do is you wanna hit this and make this a subtract mask. Hit F and also feathers 25. Hit M again, bring up the mask path and go ahead and set a keyframe. Make sure this is dragged all the way up to the top of your footage. If you select one point and then hold shift, you can select multiple mask points. Select every single mask point you have in the curvature of your eye. Just move back a little bit and then this will make sure that none of your reflection shows through where your eyelid should be. Just drag along and make sure that it's matching well with your footage, blah, blah, blah. Draggity drag. Looks like it's matching good, but it starts to go down a little too quick. So I'm gonna drag that back up there and then it goes down. Just bring it down to like there. I completely shut, completely close off the mask and then it starts to creep back in there. So if we preview this now, you can see you have a solid reflection layer that completely covers up where your eye is gonna be. We don't want this reflection to be 100% opaque, so we're gonna go over here into the blending mode. If you don't see it, hit toggle switch modes so you can see this, and then change this to overlay. It's gonna blend our reflection accurately onto our original footage. Hit T on your keyboard, and that'll bring up the opacity set to like 50 or maybe like 75. Obviously 100 is going to carry over more of that reflection onto the eye, but if you don't want such a drastic effect, you can drop down to like 25 and you can still see the reflection going by in the eye. So I'm gonna leave it somewhere around like 65 and that looks good. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna drop some curves on the reflection layer and also brighten this up since it's a pretty dark shot. As you can see now, the reflection layer looks pretty realistic on the eyeball here. How are we gonna reveal our base layer footage to this reflection? What we're gonna do is select our reflection layer, hit Control D, which is gonna duplicate it, drag the bottom layer underneath your base layer footage, and then hit M on your keyboard and then just delete these masks. Essentially, you just have to go to the point in your footage where you wanna to reveal to the next shot. I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna go into the effects and presets tab and type in Luma key. Drag this onto your base footage, and I like to key out the brighter, and then keyframe the threshold, drag the threshold up just to the maximum amount. Hit you on your keyboard so you can see your keyframes, and then go forward maybe like five frames, and then just drop it to zero. What Luma key does is it either keys out the bright or the dark, or similar or dissimilar, but it keys out the bright or dark areas in your image, so it kind of creates this cool transition-y effect. It's become kind of cliche, because so many people are doing it, but it still looks cool in this instance, in my opinion. I'm also gonna add a little edge feather, maybe like 15, 
so it just blends a little bit smoother. You can also drag this out if you want it to go over more time, all up to you. When the base footage gets revealed, there's still the overlay on top, which is creating this highlight right here. So all we're gonna do is select the top reflection layer, hit P, keyframe the opacity from 75, and then on the last keyframe, just set it to zero. So then it just kind of fades away and you can't really notice that much. So this is the final effect on how to create a reflection on someone's eye and then have it revealed through to that reflection. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like. If you didn't, leave me a dislike. Tell me what I can improve on my teaching methods. And as always, subscribe if you enjoy my content. I'm uploading a video every single day for the rest of 2017. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace, bye. Peace, peace. Choo.